Hey guys, Oz here. So after my last Twitch stream on the EVE Online Excel add-in, I got a lot of feedback that said there isn't a lot of content out there that explains the basic functions on how to use the add-on to create useful spreadsheets. So I decided to create a mini-series. I'm going to create short videos that explain one scenario at a time, and hopefully that'll help you become a more effective EVE player. I hope you guys like it. Let's start with the first scenario today. If you enjoy the content that I make for EVE Online, then there are several ways you can support. One is you can, of course, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Two, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash ozeve. And three, you can use the creator code oz whenever you buy anything in the EVE store. Much appreciated and hope you like the video. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple price comparison sheet specifically to be used in high sec and why that's a difference i'll explain later to do this i'm going to start with some some basics and that is let's start with a search string that we're going to be using to look for an item and we're going to start with region one and region two these are just things i'm typing in here you'll see later why okay now for region one and region two, I'm gonna put in here forge and I'm gonna put in here domain, right? That's Jida and, uh, and Amar, okay? With these, I can't do anything yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the functions that are available right here. You can look at all available functions here. It's very useful, right? And I'm going to look for search region. All right, I'm gonna put search region in this field right here. And what, it, what this is going to do, it's going to do an if, Eve online search region function that is going to return all the regions because the parameters in the in the field here are empty. I don't want this to be empty. I want this to point there because I wanted to look for the forge. And so now it did exactly that. And the difference now is that before I just wrote here the forge. Now it actually has the forge as a system in here. The difference is that now I can click on here and you can see I get all live information about the forge right here. Uh, I can also click right here and see which, which other data types related to this region I can add to the sheet now. What I want to do is I wanna add the ID. So I'm gonna add the ID here and this I can pull down and this I'm going to pull down. And so now I have a sheet that shows region one, region two, I wrote in these, I, I searched through the region search and I pulled out the ID. Very simple, very quick and easy to do, right? Now, what's next? Let's get some items in here, right? So if I, I'm gonna label these columns item and I'm gonna label them ID. And under item, what I want to do is I want to look up items that match the search string right here. So in this search string, I'm gonna put Metanox, just because I'm just thinking about the moon drills right now. And uh, I want here, I want the formula inventory search. So we want to go here and look for inventory search and we want to say, try it out. This formula is going to add the eveonline.inventory search formula and it's going to be defaulted to the rifter. Okay, that's just um, uh, fun and games, right? We don't want the rifter though. We want stuff that matches our search string. So Metanox, okay? And now you can see, boom, it's going to return the Metanox Moondrill and the Metanox Moondrill blueprint because these are the only two items in EVE Online that match the search string Metanox. If I change this to TRIT, for example, it's going to return every single item in EVE Online that has TRIT in the name. Very useful. We could Later on, I can show you how to limit that to exact terms, yada, yada. But today we're just doing a price comparison. So we're going to leave it at that. Okay. Now let's go back to Metanox here. And now I want the item ID for Metanox. Okay. We need the item ID for Metanox. So what we can do, look at this, uh, this entry right here and say, add the idea ID for this. So bam, bam. Now we have the uh, ID. And this sheet's going to be dynamic now, right? So um, with this, if we change this back to Tritanium, it's going to look up everything that it needs for Tritanium. And if I pull this down, it's going to do exactly the same thing, right? Um, and you can, you know, give it some more space to make it a little bit more nice, okay? Now we have item ID and we have items that match this. 
Now, how do we get the price? There are several different prices in game, as you probably know if you have traded before. There's the average price that is calculated in the system that is wildly inaccurate, but it's, it's, it just uses some sort of 30 day average um, for, to, to determine the price. What we want is the best price statistic in game, and that is the percentile price. Right? You always want the price for the, to buy the top 5% of the market because that, is, that, is, that filters out outliers. It's the most meaningful statistic in game. And luckily, the developer of this add-in has thought exactly of that albeit after some feedback from us, all right? So what we want to do now is we want to add another formula. And this, uh, this formula is called um, market order stats, okay? So we're going to add market order stats. And this is going to pull all of the statistics for, again, the rifter in the forge. That is not correct, right? We want this to pull the statistics for this ID in these regions, right? So if I want to start with, uh, with the forge, then I'm going to replace this 1002 and I'm going to replace it by this ID, okay? So now it's pulling statistics for the rifter in the forge again, because it was already the forge and I changed it to the forge, right? But we want this ID. So instead of 587, which is right now, it's, it's hard coded, I'm, I'm taking this out and I'm going to say, Look it up for this ID, okay? And now it's going to do exactly that. And if we change this back to Metanox, it's going to look it up for the Metanox, right? Now, let's, uh, for this, obviously this uh, is going to look at this region right here. And so we want to actually lock this in. Uh, it's, it, should, it should always look at that field for this. And if we pull this down, then it's going to pull the market statistics for this item also in the forge, right? Now, this isn't the price yet. This is just the card that has all the statistics in. So what, I'm, what we can do next is out of these statistics, we can pull uh, a whole bunch of stuff, but we want sell order statistics, okay? Sell order statistics. And from the sell order statistics, we want to pull the percentile. You can pull median price, uh, you can add, you know, day standard deviation, a lot of statistics, but we right now, we want the percentile price, right? And so now here, we have the percentile price of the Metanox Moondrill in the forge. And you can see it's a currency right now, but it's not, uh, not very nicely formatted. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this very realistic and we're going to call this Icelandic ISK. There we go. Now, we have all of that, and here I can actually do this and pull this down, and then we have everything also for the, the second item in this list. Now, you don't actually have to pull in this data, pull out this data, this data to get to this data. You can actually combine it into one formula. You can, if you wanted to, pull the even line market order stats for this region and this item, what you can do in the end here is you can do dot sell dot percentile. And it's going to do all of that in one formula. See, bam, there it is. So this way, you don't have to actually do all of that, you can just use one formula and you have the percentile price. So this we could we could now call um, you know, equals this percentile price, the forge. So now we have a nice little sheet that pulls the percentile price for the forge. Now, if we want to do the same for the domain region, then we have to switch this formula up a little bit. We have to make sure that this is stuck to the I column, okay? Because otherwise it's going to... Uh, it's going to pull column J instead of column I. So we're fixing it to that. And then if we pull it over here, then we also need to change, if I double click this, I need to change the for, forge region here to domain. Okay, that's all we gotta do. And we can pull that down. And now it's pulling both of this for the forge region and the domain region. And this is a dyna dynamic sheet now that if we change this to a rifter, for example, 
we get all of these items that have rifters in it. And the only reason it's not pulling that it's because uh, those items don't exist. So if I actually do Tritanium uh, and I pull these fields down, then you can see that whichever items are actually available, it will pull the price off. If you want to make these nicer, what I always do is I, I add an if error, right? All of these formulas, you can add an if error in front of it and you package this nicely and you say comma zero. And then if there is an error, then it's actually just going to display zero. And that is just makes it look nicer. And then we pull this over there and that way, Boom, you have a price comparison sheet between two regions in EVE Online. There is one caveat, and that is that this only pulls from NPC stations. It doesn't uh, pull from citadels. How to do that, I can show in one of the later videos. So this is essentially a very easy sheet to use in high sec for trading between, for example, Dodixi, Amar, and Renz, and Heck, and Jita, right? So yeah, that's it. Hope you liked the video. Uh, I hope you learned something. I'm going to make more of these over the next few weeks and months, hopefully. So if you have re uh, requests on how to do something specific, just put it in the comments. And if you want to get notified about new videos in the series, make sure you like and subscribe the video. All right, have a great day. Bye guys.